Stars of TV and radio have been paying tribute to the late Sir Terry Wogan. A service to celebrate his life was held at Westminster Abbey earlier on the 50th anniversary of his first radio broadcast for the BBC. Sir Terry died from cancer in January. The phrase national treasure is often overused, but it's a phrase entirely appropriate for Sir Terry Wogan. For not only was Terry a broadcasting phenomenon, he also had a personality which captivated audiences, no matter what their age. Tony Hall paying tribute earlier today at lunchtime. Uh, well, earlier I spoke to Tom Edwards, who worked for many years with Sir Terry Wogan on BBC Radio 2. Tom presented the early breakfast show before handing over to Sir Terry each day. He was invited to today's service. He now lives in Heckington in Lincolnshire, and I asked him if he'd been surprised to receive the invitation. Yes, indeed, Peter. Um, I got the invitation oh, weeks and weeks ago, um, and I was not only surprised, but honoured to get an invitation initially from right here in the middle of the BBC at Broadcasting House in London, um, because I worked with Terry um, many years ago. He became a good friend, a lovely man to, uh, to know in life, um, and he'd not forgotten me, so I got an invite from, I presume, the family and the BBC to go to this wonderful, joyous um, service of thanksgiving for the life and work of the late Sir Terry Wogan today. Now, another great honour was on Terry's last radio show, um, he gave you a special hello. I mean, how fantastic was that when there was all that pressure on him? I'll let you into a secret, Peter. I didn't know he'd done this until I went into the local shop in Heckington, where I live now in, uh, in Lincolnshire. And uh, one of the ladies on the till said, oh, Sir Terry Wogan said hello to you. And obviously I tuned in, Peter, to the Play It Again set up on the BBC uh, website. Um, and he acknowledged me not only as a person, but as a broadcaster. He knew that I'd gone a, through a bit of a tough time in my life. And he sent me his respects. And I was bowled over by that because I left the staff of the BBC BBC in 1979 to work elsewhere for the other side but Terry never forgot that we were friends and, and he mentioned me in his last and after program. he did that mention it spread like wildfire through uh, through Heckington and ev everybody was talking about it and before that yes, you were did, uh, you were secret <laughs> Peter should stop and say, you knew Terry Wogan. I did, and a great honour, especially to, uh, to be there today at Westminster Abbey. Wherever you look from the Director General, um, Sir Tony Hall of the BBC, the DG, who gave a wonderful speech, and I'm not trying to gain brownie points either, and beautiful music from Katie Melua and um, uh, Peter Gabriel. It was a wonderful service. It will stay up here forever and a day, Peter. And just briefly, let's just finish on, when you were working with him at the time of Come Dancing, your mum uh, picked you and Terry up from the railway station and she virtually ignored you. Yes, she did. Well, we'd both done our early shows, so we caught the train up to Norwich, which is my home city. Mum came to meet us to take us to the location of um, Cump Dancing, which was coming from Great Yarmouth, and she hardly spoke to me. I mean, for goodness sake, Peter, I was her son, <laughs> but she was in awe of meeting Sir Terry Wogan. He was a one-off. I think when they made him, they threw the mould away. Lovely to chat with you, Tom. Safe trip back up to uh, okay. Heckington. Heckington. It's great yeah. to have you on Thank the Thank you, Peter, very much. All the Thank best. Thank you. Cheers. Tom Ebers uh, talking to me earlier, and by the way, yeah, today's memorial service is online, and there is a special programme as a tribute to uh, Sir Terry Wogan on Friday evening here on BBC One.